All right, guys, new product from CTH. Well, it's not new, but uh, uh, it's new to me. And this product here is the uh, storage panels that go here and here. And then I believe it also includes the shelf. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and then do the install. Okay, so here is uh, what comes in the two boxes. Uh, one of them is the actual side panels, which you see there, one and two. And then it does come with instructions, hardware. These are the spacers. It does comes with it does come with tools, uh, which is actually pretty nice. Um, not a lot of uh, fabricators include tools, um, so that's kind of cool. If you don't if you don't have a set, uh, you can use the tools that they provide. Um, and then uh, these, uh, I'm not quite sure yet what these are. Uh, I, I presume that they will attach to this. And then these here are probably for the shelf. And I currently have them sitting right there. So we'll go ahead and uh, look at the instructions and see how this goes. Okay, so the first step is to actually uh, rotate this counterclockwise and pull out the uh, tab you'll see a screw in there and then one there there's a cap and you just flip the cap out so we'll undo those screws okay so the next step would be to actually also remove the uh, hook that's um, up there as well so we have uh, one two and three and then we get these little hangers and what they'll do is they'll sit up like that and then um, that panel then will sit on top and it'll get screwed and the beauty about these these panels is that they're actually um, um, they got them uh, threaded already so what we can do is install this and um, if you want to retain this you can include it um, you can retain um, the hook uh, so your the longer screw that you get from your hardware which comes with the spacers uh, will go to that one hole and then this nub will go to that other hole and then you can screw that up there and I'll do that right now and so that sits up just like that pretty solid so the next piece would be to install the spacers and I will uh, one spacer there and one right there okay so this is an important part um, you'll see these uh, the spacer here and you'll notice that um, this dimension is, sh is shorter than this dimension. So this needs to sit up just like that. And then um, the smaller tapered spacer goes in the rear. And then the longer one is the one that goes in front. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then show you the end result. Okay, so I have the spacer installed. And then again, the, the shorter width is on facing top i just peeled the two uh, sticky tape 3m tape and you just slide this in actually it goes okay the uh, instructions wasn't clear um but uh the the smaller side needs to be at the bottom and the top side needs to be on top or the the, the larger and needs to be on top. And I believe that provides support. And you just slide this in and that is solid. So that's it for that. And then this little guy here, screws in there. So now, we will go ahead and put the first uh, side panel. Okay, so you grab the other hardware bag and you grab the Allen's uh, bolt, put the lock washer, washer, and then um, 
you thread it. Now they're all loose and um, then you grab the others and align these and then one over there. Okay, so now I got the screws all in place. And so now I'm gonna tighten it. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing this install with the tools that were provided. I'm not using any of my tools. So um, just so that uh, I wanted to show this, that uh, if you don't have any tools and you purchase this, you can install it. Okay, second panel is installed. Um, now, I actually loosened it all up uh, and kept it loose because I think I will need to keep it loose when I install the shelf. Um, now I think the shelf comes up here or, or you can adjust because I noticed that uh, these also have uh, um, threaded inserts. So I think the shelves are um, adjustable. So I'm going to go ahead and build the shelf and then we'll see how that works. Okay, yeah, so, so far this seems to be pretty, um, pretty uh, uh, simple. You got these L brackets, one side has the insert, the others doesn't. The ones that don't have the insert will actually sit um, where uh, these inserts that are hooked up to the side panel. So you can have them there or you can have them there. Um, I also noticed that there's inserts here and here um, and then down here. So there's a lot of inserts that they provide um, for this. So we'll go ahead and install those. I think I'll have the, I'll have it at the highest and then um, that's where the shelf will sit. Okay guys, here is the <clears throat> shelf. You have the two shelves itself here and then the, uh, the frames. And then um, you have a, additional hardware. So uh, the hardware, they also include hardware just for the shelves. And then you also have, these are the leftover har hardware for the side panels. Um, so you have a lot of hardware that uh, CTH gives you. Um, and I'm assuming that's so that you can add the, the um, extra attachments so that's really nice of them so <clears throat> i think what these will do is that these will slide into each other um you see so you have this this um, piece here that will go right in here and then same with these two and so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and put that together and show you what that looks like okay so i got the two pieces together and i slid them up uh, in to each other same with this side and then um the the bottom side are the ones that have the the rib nuts and i installed one of the shelves already and then it screws from the bottom so i got one two and then a screw holding that shelf up so now i'm going to place it in that upper shelf and uh, we'll go from there Okay, so something to note here, um, this shelf actually belongs on this side because uh, these three um, mount to those rib nuts right there and right there. So I will remove this and fix that. Okay, shelves are put in. I got the screws mounted, they're all loose. Uh, what I found is that um, I had to remove this L bracket from here because uh, if you have it installed and you have this put together, you can't um, install that shelving unit. So what I'm going to do is just mount this onto the bottom of the shelf already, and then I'll mount it to that. So here we go. Okay, so I have the uh, L bracket mounted loosely. That one is not mounted yet. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is elevate it and then um, screw it into there. Okay, so, well, this is, I'm not gonna lie, this one was a pain. <clears throat> um, I wasn't able to mount uh, this screw after. So what I had to do was remove one of them, insert this screw to mount the L bracket. And then now I'm going to have to screw this shelving unit down to the L bracket. So I'll need to do that also with this one 
and this one. I'll need to remove those two, insert the bolts for the shelf there, and then screw down these. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, that was a little bit of a finagling. Um, I was able to tighten it. Um, so when installing, um, you're going to have to remove one of the brackets, whether it would be the uh, driver's side or passenger side, and you'll have to install it after. Unless you build this in the vehicle, um, which it's a little bit tough. Uh, so I built it outside um, and then I removed this, installed the rack, then tied the, uh, not rack, sorry, the um, shelf, tied the shelf to the L bracket and the L bracket to the actual side panel. Um, so a little bit of, uh, you know, what, what comes first, right? So that's all secured. So now I'm gonna tackle this one. Okay, it is complete. That thing is solid. Um, was able to uh, secure that side. So <clears throat> I will uh, give you a, a background shot of this. But I wanted to point out in the box, you have the manual. You're gonna have two. <laughs> All right, well, you're gonna have two bags of um, hardware left over, plenty for adding uh, attachments. Uh, this bag here is the OEM bolts uh, that came from uh, on those sides and the one up there. So I'll just throw that in that box and then keep this box. But let, uh, and then the three tools that it came with. And uh, I'll show you the... So that's it right there. And uh, supposed to put some stuff here like, um, I can't imagine heavy items, but I think this is strong enough to hold like toolboxes and whatnot. So that's kind of neat. Uh, and then you just strap it down. So I am very pleased with this. CTH came through again. I'll have all the this, uh, information below if you are uh, interested in picking this up. This is a much more affordable um, system than the uh, traditional ones that are out there, the more popular ones. I won't mention any names, but this is a hell of a build. Uh, quality stuff, pretty strong. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, leave a comment below and I'll answer them.